Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to some of the place like the spy up. Hmm. I. Let's go. Silent. Get the ascension done. 7 max HP for a lot of gold. Let's trade our relic. That's hailing. It's not terrible, but also very much not amazing. How do we win this run? I don't know. Early catalysts are a great way forward, for example. I don't think... Well, I guess we, we did need to do that. We didn't even block much enough. I mean, I'd like to get an early catalyst and it'd be like, yeah, we're doing the poison run. We could also do the many attacks shift run again. I do like a defensive set. Oh, let's, let's take Endless Agony. That will help us early. Remove. I do like remove. Remove the parasite. I think we could have transformed there as well. Three attacks, one strength. We are in the shift deck. Oh. Oh, we can't do that though. Oh, that's a free attack as well. That's pretty nice, actually. But maybe we want to remove the regret first? Now nah, let's take the free attack. We, there's, we, we, get, we will get other opportunities to remove the regret, but there's... Just getting a free attack. Okay, we gotta, we gotta block there, sadly. Getting a free attack like this. An opportunity to stack Shuriken. Where's the third attack, though? My dude! Two free attacks, and then we didn't get a third? That's three attacks. There you go. Uh, of course, two of them were free, so... Screwed it up again. And then there's Leg Sweep. Which is just an amazing card, in my opinion. I think attacking once instead of blocking the one damage is a good opportunity. Or a good trade over rather. Not gonna get there, so we'll block. I do did want to get the strength up of the Shuriken. That's another strength up. We actually got the two weak through. That's some blocking. Come on, give me another attack. Oh, please daze first. No. First the curse deals 4 damage and then the daze gets removed. That was terrible. We could kill him and take 9 damage, or we could have him dead to a strike and take 1 damage. Didn't get the strength strength up, but I don't think we need the strength up there. Maybe I think we should have done this on this, because this sentry is dead to a strike anyways. Like, there's no no reason to doubt that. So we, we wasted 4 damage and then the gate on him. That's a strength up. And now we can kill him. No, we can't, but he's not killing us either. Why? <laughs> Always regret in 3 days, and regret is dealing so much damage to us this, this gate, this fight. Oh, come on. I just need a damage spell. There's a strike. Draw one less card. Next turn is pretty bad, but 10 damage to all enemies is okay. Do not want that though. Now nah, we'll skip. I think we're fine not doing this. There's a shop. Oh, 75. It's another flash of steel. 
Why could we not draw this one? I thought we, we'd get enough gold to, to remove this strike now, actually. Resting helps. Oh, weak enemy steal 50% less damage. This might be a very good... Oh, malaise? Weak too. Yeah, we, we want that. Weak enemies dealing 50% less damage is truly great. One dex, yeah, we will fight. And, oh no! It's the sentries! It's the worst ones! I guess playing the melees there would, would prevent one damage, but I think later on in a one on one scenario, for example gonna be great. Okay. I think we got there. We'll probably kill this one now. Oh yes we will. So I will keep an endless agony for when we reshuffle. He's gonna die to the to the hourglass. That's why we didn't need to finish him off. And I did I played one for the strength up. Regret and Dazed is such a bad combination. But at least this one is killing us for 15 now. We don't even need to discard a Dazed since the deck's up of the oddly smooth zone. Are we getting another relic of this fight by the way? I think so. And he's dead to the hourglass. No, we did not. Footwork? Oh, yeah. We're very defensive. There's the gremlin knob. Let's just malaise you, my dude. No attacking, thank you very much. I mean, you can, you can hit us for two. And, and even the regret. That's an attack for nine, though. That's rude. Let's block this. He's only getting one damage up of the of the blocking since he's weakened forever. We got so much weak that this is actually working out quite nicely. That was very easy. A shiv, a eh? a terror, a eh? eh? I do like terror. If there is one enemy and we can terror him on the first turn, just like this, then all our damage is going to be so much stronger. Leg sweep with the paper crane is just... Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, heal hook is a free attack with our weak synergy. That's basically. Oh no, we probably got a heal, right? We we could be defensive. What could we could be three weak? We could make terror free. I think we got a rest. Maybe maybe I think that's too cautious. But I do like our start. I don't want to throw it away by not doing the smart f thing and resting. Do I leg sweep and malaise for one? I think so. It's just for very little. There's the terror. That's a free attack. That's a free attack. We gain our strength up. Discard those guards so regret only hits us for one. Free attack, free attack, should have deflagged it there. Free attack. Keep the endless agony. Yeah, I'm gonna take one damage in return for the lot of damage I'm doing there. He 
He's like, he's weak and vulnerable forever. It's amazing. That's a free. That's a freebie. Oh, we can't, sadly. Okay, but. Another strength up. We still got one more Endless Agony in deck, yeah. There it is. Get rid of one of these. That's enough strength up. And now we kill him with an attack. Like Flesh of Steel and Neutralize, for example. Great stuff! Tool of the trade is nice, it also get, makes it so we don't need to care about regret, but adrenaline is also nice, and I do like explosive turns for shuriken value. Yeah, get cursed for the additional energy. Maybe we didn't need to do that, but the additional energy allows us to play more attacks more often, I feel like. I do want this shop, right? We'd also go for this shop. Or this shop. And then go here. Like this. We're gonna go for the, the start with this and two question marks for sure. Neutralize. He looks free. Give me an attack. Thank you very much. Defend and then malaise you. We're taking a bit of damage, but both of them are weak. Adds three more attacks. One, two, three. Should have played this one first, but we still got enough block here. Maga's gonna die to the damage, exactly. Flash of Steel. Strike, strike, and then defend twice. And now we need two strikes to have him dead. Also, adrenaline hopefully draws us into the strikes. Here we go. I think we hit this perfectly. No. No. If no other cards are in hand. Guess we got four energy. Maybe we can get Masterful Step to work, actually. Upgrade a card. Terror costing nothing. Yeah, let's go. Don't you dare. We did get cursed. Beautiful. I will get jaxed. So now the shop is less effective, so I'm not gonna take the shop route. Immediately regrets. But you cannot touch this. Ho ho ho! Are you ready uh, to die? You are dead. You take you do zero times six because fifty percent rounded down. That's beautiful. Do I need to play jacks here? does help with the damage. That's a free attack on you. You're dead. And then malaise you. Zero attack damage again. And you're gonna die to neutralize. Like so many people before you and so many people after you. Dagger throw or a flying knee? I maybe I, that uh, was not as good as I hoped it would be. Regret is really screwing me here. Too weak, too frail? What? You, you're weakening and frailing me? Don't 
you look at that. I guess Mercury Hourglass is already great for long fights. I'm not gonna get jaxed. Is regret why? Yeah, I got regrets. Quite a lot of them. Four damage for each skill in your hand. I think this could be amazing. We got 50 HP, that's enough to fight. Oh no, it's the trio. The unholy trio of nastiness. Six, fourteen, seventeen, and we got sixteen block. That's actually amazing. Adrenaline, don't make me regret this. Thank you. You're dead. You're dead. That's a strength up, and then do you defend? Do we need two jacks? I guess we can jacks. We, we need one more card for 25, so we will heal 10 HP whenever we enter a rest site. It's probably worth it, right? And then the power of leg sweep. And you're dead to Mercurial Hourglass again. Peace pipe! Oh me oh my. Storm of Steel! Oof! Okay. Look at this. Get out of here, Regret! Thank you, Peace Pipe. No, we can't. Losing 30%. Regular enemies are no longer encountered in quest remark rooms. Leg Sweep Plus. Yeah. Cards with exhaust have a 50% chance not to exhaust. It helps with endless agony a lot. Let's do it. I think this might actually be one case where this is great. Now we can toke the next curse. Since we the feather is actually doing a lot of work here, since it's healing us whenever we enter the rest site like this. Oh, I would have re removed love to remove a card there as well. Give me an adrenaline. It's not exhausted. It's not exhausted? What's going on? Ooh. Are you done is stupid? Not exhausted? Yeah, that hits us for a lot. Exhausted? Come on, not exhausted. God damn it. We screwed it up. I was hoping we could get so many of those cards in our deck, basically always, but didn't. Well, that's not exhausted though. Ah, uh, shifts not exhausting is kind of terrible though. Sneaky Gremlin, get out of here. He looks free. And here we go. Damn! Our deck is working, Sneko Skull. Oh, 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 oh. Do I want the third leg sweep? Yes, I do. Leg sweep is amazing. On the other hand, though. Endless Agony helps us a lot with the Shuriken. 
and stuff. Okay, I'm taking Endless Agony. I'm not sure this is the right play though. Okay, don't need those. No decay, I don't need that as well. Neutralize, yes please. Go on. Oh, it was the last attempt. <laughs> Nothing is getting matched here. We are fighting against the champion. Two energy, two draw two cards. Ooh, upgrade leg sweep. Let's get let's do this. Maybe we should have toked one of the regular strikes. Okay, listen here. This is terrible. This is still terrible, by the way. Oh! Did we get an attack already? No. Could use my three attacks and then belaze him? Well, I could just belaze him. Actually, eight block and belaze blocks everything. Yeah! Yeah! Strange Spoon! Doing work? All of these card exhausting is fine, we got two of them in our graveyard anyways. I'd say free attack. Strike, strike, and then we can leg sweep. Another strength up. If we get a strength up every turn, we can easily do this. Come on. Spoon! Yes! The spoon it got there. So close to hitting the another attack for a strength up. Spoon doing it again? <laughs> He's so weak. I love it. Yeah. Oh, right. I need to get rid of that card. Wait, Malaising him now is bad. This is his enrage mode, right? Yeah, I've done it now. Give me a week, please. Thank you. Strange Spoon! Have mercy on him! And in comes the adrenaline. And he's weak forever already. Ah. All the bosses doing half damage. Oh, you're so dead. So very dead. Oh, oh. Oh, and Venom with Snacko Skull is amazing, and all our little attacks adds really good. Transforming all strikes and defense sounds like it could actually be fun. We could get more heal hooks and more weakness inducing stuff. On the other hand, Sozu's just the fifth energy for great shenanigans. And I mean, Sozu's just better than Runic Dome, I feel like. We want to transform all strikes and defense. That sounds so fun! Mm. I love Pandora's box. Sozu though, the fifth energy with he helps us with malaise, helps us with the draw cards to and enable masterful stab. I'm I'm gonna go Pandora's box and I know it's probably the wrong one. Yeah, it's absolutely disgustingly bad. This is how you throw a run, by the way. We had Sozu, which is Perfect, and then we just do do that, and and I feel stupid. Sorry about that, guys. Should probably go for as many of these as possible. There's a shop as well, and then one, two, three, four. 
Okay, this is the way we'll go. Nice. Because what I want to do now is... I mean, backflip is great. And that's a free attack. We can survive a... Malaise. Unended strike is free now. Dagger spray. Get this, and then we can masterful stab this guy. I'm not gonna jax. I will need my HP. Like, eviscerate is just bad. Go for masterful step again. I need block, by the way. If there was any more block, I'd take it. Leg sweep, heel hook. Kill me, please. I mean, not really, but that was just horrendous. a perfectly functioning deck and then I do something like this. We did discard a card. Sixteen, so we hit him for ten. Can you we kill you take way too much in a normal fight because I don't have any block where did all the block go oh I know I exhausted all of it transformed it into very bad attacks gonna lie by the way this was almost worst case scenario with what we got I mean I don't think we can do that duplicate a card in your deck I am gonna duplicate a leg sweep for sure even though neutralize would be great Maybe I backflip to draw more cards, but Lex Whip is just too amazing. This is a heal we toke, and we get rid of something that's just unbearably bad. Could get rid of our underhanded strikes and the concentrate. Concentrate can work though, so let's get rid of the underhanded strikes. Even though they can be free attacks as well, I'm not entirely confident with them. Double masterful stab. Why? Why is this happening to me? The deck is just mocking me. Screw it. Hit him for a lot. I'm not sure if this was the best way to do it. If we just took the fifth energy. Imagine the amazing deck we would have right now. We got two terrors? Or did it get hit by the shroom thingy, by the strange spoon, I mean, not shroom.
he's in good buy mode already. More leg sweeps and more defense. Oh, exactly like this actually. No, I should have I should have leg sweep first. Mori is nice. That's a defensive one, so I take it. So, do we have two terrors? No, we don't. No, and I get rid of this underhanded strike. Dead branch. Dead branch, strange spoon is. A strange combination. Get rid of one of our masterful. No, let's get rid of Eviscerate as well. I'm just using Toke to to cut down our cards. Terror on you for sure. I Survivor with the Leg Sweep, Skewer, and now Masterful Stab can get in there for a lot of damage. Flechette's doing a lot less damage now. No, strange spoon. No, stop blocking my no. <laughs> oh no. Drink the region potion. Strange spoon. Oh, strange spoon. Horrendous with it's the time eater. Okay. This might actually be doable. What? It hit me? Hey, we got innoxious fumes. I do need as much defense as possible. Apotheosis. Yeah, I'm sorry, but good thing we got the money. Apotheosis is just so amazing. What do we get rid of? One of our masterful stabs. Storm of Steel, maybe? Storm of Steel can be nice, but it also can be horrendous. Flechettes. Oh, Spirit Seal does up to full HP, nice. I took Flechettes here. Because I felt like Flechettes is not very consistent with the with our deck right now. Heal hook, slice, dagger spray, malaise. We played so many different cards and at the end he has 20 poison. Thank you Snacker, Skull Plus and Venom. This is the part where we storm of steel. I hope our stuff gets exhausted and not strange, strange spoon. I guess it gets strange spooned. Oh my god! No, stop! Why did you spoon apotheosis?
What is going on here? In Venom though. When every attack poisons for two. That's actually amazing. Noxious fumes, four poison every turn if I play it once. I think we'll skip. Smithing apotheosis to cost only one is probably the right play. Let's see. Oh, starting with venom, yes please. Adrenaline, yes. Two blocks and the masterful stab. Gonna take some hits here. We got three energy left and played seven spells. How does this even happen? So we do need to do this for sure. This blocks all that stuff. Actually, we can do this as well. We can do this as well. And I'm gonna drink the artifact. Nine. No. Ten. Eleven. There's Apotheosis. Thanks for getting exhausted, Apotheosis. Thanks for spooning this strange spoon. Two, three attacks. And then we malaise instead of leg sweep. I feel like we might be able to do it. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, no, I mean I'm gonna do this for sure and then I'm not gonna play. I wish we could have gotten to 12 here. We didn't though. 11, 12. There was another skewer. Oh, he said I'm foolish? Do you even know what you just did? That's free. Thank you very much. Second attack. I guess we weaken you forever again. Oh, there was a third attack! No! We missed out on his strength up. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh, yeah. Malaysum again. <laughs> He's at minus six strength after regening up, and the the envenom together with the Snacko skull. Disgusting amounts of block. Boom. Look at disgusting amounts of block. I mean poison actually, and he's poisoned and he's doing no damage at all. And now he's dead. This is the part where you die. 10, 11, 12. Now I could have masterful stabbed you, but you're just gonna die anyways. Oh, I'm loving it. The Pandora's box worked out after all. The sheer strength of having three legs with the paper crane. Peace pipe exhausted the, like, not exhausted, removed the very bad cards from our deck and then having the sheer strength of Paper Crane Shuriken with this many zero cost attacks. Paper Crane 3 leg sweeps, the dexterity up. And then Snacko Skull and Venom was amazing. With all the zero cost attacks that gave us strength up and then also... Oh my god. And Strange Spoon actually worked out quite nicely. Look at that, over a thousand damage. Nice! Essential mode and eleven unlocked. We did it, boys. We did it. I'm actually very proud of that. I did play a few games trying to ascend even further, and it it, it didn't work. And there were some horrendous matches with like dying before the first boss, before forcing something, and not getting the cards. That's why I'm not uploading those episodes, by the way. But this episode is getting uploaded. I'm loving it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys had as much fun as I had. 
and I'll see you in the next episode.